Model S and Model X, and will it also be carried over to the forthcoming entry-level model? Uh, so the, the battery type will indeed be common between the Model S and the Model X. So they'll have um, I, I, so the, the battery type outer dimension and interfaces will be identical between the uh, S and X. Um, over time, we will make some upgrades to the internals um, and improve the, the energy density. Uh, so they'll you know, store more energy and, and uh, have more capability over time. Um, the, the third generation, sort of the uh, lower cost car, the one that will be half of the price of Model S, uh, will have a, a, a different form factor uh, because the form factor of the, of the Model S pack potentially matches the, the, the underbody. Um, and, um, and so if it was a smaller car, you would have a smaller battery pack. Um, it's also possible by that time that uh, you know, maybe charging technology gets better and better. And we'll have to see several years down the road whether the battery pack swap is still even relevant. And as a follow-up, just as, a, as an enthusiast, what is the benchmark for the forthcoming entry-level model? The, uh, from a cost standpoint, uh, so we're aiming for half the cost of the Model S, so a starting price of $35,000, and that doesn't include any tax credits or anything. So the Model S right now, before tax credits, is $70,000, um, so it would be thirty-five. dollars And, and by that, at that point, there won't be any tax credits available to us, so it's got to be at 35 on, on the button. Um, and, it, and it needs to have a true range, um, including under difficult circumstances, bad weather and all that, of at least 200 miles.